How much of the background of your scene is included in your shot makes a huge difference to how your audience understands it. So what I'm really talking about is focal length, how zoomed in or zoomed out you are. More zoomed in means that you're isolating the subject from the background, and more zoomed out means that you're showing a lot more background. But we can use this in creative ways. Let me just show you a few examples. First, the really, really wide angle. This is where we see a lot of background, and the subject looks quite small in it. But if we want to show the subject bigger and retain that huge amount of background, we just need to move the camera physically closer. If we zoom in, it creates a completely different effect, isolating the subject from the background and showing a lot less of that background. But what does that actually mean for your shot? Well, including a lot of background can tell you a lot about the subject, say where they live, where they work, or just any kind of details about the people around them. Not including a lot of background by zooming in separates your subject from their environment, isolating them, setting them out as a loner if there's a lot of people in the scene previously, or just saying that they're not really a part of the background or that the background isn't important right now and we're focusing on that character's emotions. So you can see here how we can go from gardener to murderer with the simple change in how much background we show. Experimenting with focal length can make a huge difference to how your scene feels and how your audience perceives it. So it's worth experimenting with where you put the camera and thinking about how zoomed in or out you should be and how much background you should or shouldn't show before you set up your shot and before you decide on what the final look of your scene should be.